today we're telling you about Super Cruise. This is Bill from South Fort Chef, by the way. And we are driving our 2023 Chevy Bolt. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna teach you a little bit about how the Super Cruise system works, um, how to operate it and uh, everything like that. So Super Cruise, if you're unfamiliar or have never heard, is uh, Chevy's driving aid um, assistance system. So essentially it's, uh, it's kind of like semi-autonomous driving while you're cruising um, on, well, I guess there's now 340,000 kilometers of roads between Canada and USA that you can use this on. Um, so it is pretty neat. So we'll start, I'll take it out of Super Cruise and continue driving as if I was not on cruise control or anything. So to use the Super Cruise system in a vehicle that's operated or that's uh, equipped with Super Cruise, there's a couple things to do to get it all set up. So the first thing is you need to make sure that your adaptive cruise control system is turned on. Uh, for that, with your regular cruise control system, if it is turned off, you will not see any cruise icons. If it's turned on, and you can see the little icon there to the left of the 100 kilometers an hour below the green car, that's the icon showing that you have the uh, adaptive cruise control ready. If you push and hold the cancel button on your steering wheel, it would take you between the regular cruise control, which would show this icon here, and the adaptive cruise control. So I don't know if you can see the, um, the regular cruise control icon there, but again, push and hold the cancel button to make sure that your adaptive cruise control is available. From there, um, I'm gonna slow down because there's a light ahead and probably clip forward, but I'll talk you through a little bit more as while we're in here. Once your adaptive cruise is turned on, uh, it will, um, it uses GPS technology as well as uh, camera and radar sensors to um, make sure that you're um, on a road that's that it can read the road lines, that it can read the vehicles around you, and that, again, that it is a road that's programmed into the system uh, to be able to use the Super Cruise. Once all those things are um, good to go, you're gonna get a um, icon that will look uh, kind of like a steering wheel that'll show in the dash um, on the right-hand side. When all of those, so you can kind of see it right there, shows kilometers per hour, Super Cruise, and is available. So you can, at that point, touch the Super Cruise icon on the steering wheel, set your cruise control if it wasn't previously set to the speed of the road that you're on. So for right now, we're in a 100 zone, so we're gonna turn that up to 100 kilometers per hour. And then you can take your hands, once this is all green, you can take your hands fully off the vehicle, or the wheel, and your vehicle will drive up to 100 kilometers an hour, slow down with vehicles in front of you, and maintain your lane position. So um, you do have to actually still be aware and um, looking at the road. You can't just, you know, turn to the side and look for, you know, a long time on end because it does have sensors that do pick up your face. It will actually work through sunglasses even if they are polarized. Um, but you can kind of see now if you pan out Tristan, we're currently going around a corner um, about kind of approaching the Anthony Hende in Edmonton on Manning Freeway. And uh, it is completely keeping our lane position and steering the vehicle fully around uh, the corner. Um, you'll notice too some vehicles are now in front of us as they start to slow down. You can change the following gap here too, um, that it will, you can go near, medium and far, and it will actually slow us down to those vehicles in front of us. If you want to ever take control, you can always take your hands and signal, and it'll turn blue and flash when you are, and then turn red when the Super Cruise can, uh, system's not available. But you can always take control at any point through using Super Cruise. So it is really neat. Like I said, we're just, to do this video, we just figured we'd drive towards Edmonton where um, I know roads like the Anthony Hende are super cruise compatible. A lot of the major highways through Alberta or all of Canada and a ton down in the States are super cruise compatible, um, but it's a really neat system. Uh, if you're on your morning commute and you wanna just be able to sit back, enjoy your coffee and not worry too much about anything, you can let the system just kind of operate for you. Um, and again, it will give you alerts. It'll tell you when you need to use it. Um, other ways, so let's say that you are in super cruise and you wanted to manually take control as well. At any point, you can touch the cancel button on your cruise control system. You can touch the uh, super cruise button itself to turn the system off, as well as touching the brake pedal or use your manual regeneration button um, just on the back of the steering, here, the steering wheel here. All of those will put you then back in control of the vehicle. Um, one other thing to note, Again, it is semi-autonomous. It's not 
fall asleep behind the wheel and it does everything for you. Um, if it senses that you are no longer um, watching the road, paying attention to anything like that, it will alert you. Um, it'll start beeping at you like over a longer period of time. It's not take your hands off the wheel. Ooh, it's available again. But if you are, let's say that you doze off on a road trip, um, it will start flashing your tail lights and gradually slow you to a stop um, on the road that you're on. And then uh, OnStar will call through as an emergency advisor, seeing that if there was some kind of emergency that happened, if they need to, uh, if they need to send assistance like uh, EMS or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Like I said, we just merged onto the Hyundai as soon as we got off the merge lane. Super Cruise became available again. We're now on our basically. If this was your morning commute, like so many people have to deal with on the Anthony Hyundai. You can set this thing up, it'll follow the vehicles in front of you, it'll slow you down because you know you're gonna get slowed down at some point on this road. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of a nice peaceful, if I had a coffee, I'd be sipping it right now, but a nice peaceful way to enjoy your morning drive or afternoon, wherever, wherever you're going. So yeah, that's just a little bit on Super Cruise. Um, if you have any questions on it, feel free to reach out to us. Um, there is some pretty good information on, on, on uh, Chevrolet.ca's website. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you, uh, if you have any questions on this, if you're looking to get yourself a vehicle that's equipped with Super Cruise, feel free to get in contact with myself or any of the other guys at Southport Chev, and uh, we would love to assist you, because yeah, we think it's pretty neat.